now we're going to see how to install Carla Stimulator. So first we're going to go to the website uh, and then we're going to do like Linux installation. So we're going to click on the Linux and these are the uh, things that you guys have to read before. And these are the prerequisites. You need to have all these to start the installation. So after you verified that you have all the prerequisites, we're going to open a terminal and then do our step-by-step -step things. This is the first command you're going to give and then click on enter and then it's ask for your computer's password and as soon as you click, it'll start running and it might take quite a time. Now we can see that our first command got successfully run and now we're putting the second command and this also will be taking a little bit time and and that's also done and now we're doing the other command where we are updating it so it's like up to date and then oh it's taking a while yeah and then it's done uh we're doing the other command so these are the steps like exactly that you have to do in your terminal uh, as you can see in the screen I'm, uh, I'm passing some commands in the terminal Now that we ran all the commands that were needed to run to install a couple of stuff, now we'll be going to GitHub and creating an account. So here you should first like enter your email and then create a password and give a username. And you just have to verify everything. And now you will be going to Unreal Engine. Uh, to integrate it uh, with your github so we can use it in the terminal later so first you're gonna go create an account in unreal engine 2 you just have to give your email and your date of birth and all stuff to create it once you have created your account you're gonna open the account and go to apps and accounts and here you can see like github do so you just click on the connect and then click on i agree now you just connect the account your unreal account with your github and then in the future you will know why we did this so now we'll be going back to our or terminal and then pass a command where we are cloning our github and unreal machine here it's asking for the user id of our github you just click on the user id and for password you it's uh, the permissions have changed for password that's why it's not letting me like log in here so basically it doesn't allow you to put your actual github password because of authentication issues so now i'm going to show you like how to do the authentication thing so first you go to developer uh, settings for github it's easier if you search in google because it's hard to find it in actual github 
account so that's why I'm like searching and uh, once you click go there you're gonna see a personal access token so here you're gonna create a personal access token so here we're generating a new token so this token can be used as our password so um, so first you're gonna you just have to see which all you want to allow I'm just allowing everything here so I'm just checking on everything and I should be giving a name for it so that's why or, or note like sorry it's not a name it's a note I just wrote as test and you just generate a code it's hidden there for me but you just copy paste that uh, in the place of your password so here I ran the same command again and I'm giving my username and pasting my token there and it starts to work so here we're cloning it's gonna take a little time and once that's done I'm gonna run the other uh, commands where I am changing the directory on where I want to run the commands and then run the command I wanted to run uh, just follow this commands uh, in the order that I did and another command where I'm installing things and uh, for a few few commands you just uh, it just asks for the computer password so you have to give it and I'm again cloning this also might take a lot of time uh, this is just in a faster pace so that time is like actually not exactly how the video is in and um, again uh, changing the directory uh, I went to the master directory and now I'm like uh, doing all the updates and everything uh, just follow uh, whatever uh, commands I just give so once you cat uh, the once you do the previous command uh, cat you'll be getting this one where you have to go to their website and here it's kind of cropped for me so I selected the latest version so in the place of put the file ID here you just put the latest version thing so here's how I'm doing like I just copy paste the uh, latest versions ID in the place of put the file ID thing so once you do that uh, it's gonna download a file which uh, will happen in like a second so once I put the ID here and now you can see the download thing it downloaded the tar file which is a zip file so after that you again uh, continue with your with the uh, other steps where I am making a directory here so it's here it says my file already exists because I already ran the command before until previous commands we were in the master directory but now we are just gonna do CD and then again CD downloads so we're gonna go to downloads and try to do the uh, try to uh, do some commands with the tar file so this is the exact command uh, you guys have to do and for the path you should give your own computer's path so and then it starts to do and this might take a quite a time and we're still gonna stay in the downloads directory and run one more command or one or two more commands and then change back to our actual master directory so here I'm gonna run one more command 
which should open you a, f a code file. So So this is the code that gets opened. So here in the last line of the code, we're gonna add a line where uh, where we're exporting things. So do the exact same thing that I did. And then now we're gonna go back to our terminal and this time we're gonna change our directory to the master directory and then run the next commands. So uh, for every command I put, you just try to pause it and then see exactly what I did. And then this is the almost the last command we're going to do, which is make launch. This is where the Carla is actually uh, opening right now. So also the opening like takes a little time. So don't try to close it or anything it's just that's how it works and it takes a little time to open and there's Carla so that's it like that's how you install Carla using Linux